So we're here in Belarus, and if you don't really know much about Belarus, it's absolutely in the center of Eastern Europe, surrounded by Russia, Lithuania, Latvia, the Ukraine, and Poland. So it's as Eastern European as it can get. It was part of the Soviet USSR. Belarus is a relatively young country that just gained independence in 1991, but it's developing really fast since then, and they've invested a lot of money into different monuments and marble plazas, which has been great for skateboarding, but it's also a great mix of forests, seeing that the country consists of 40% forestry. We decided the best way to experience Belarus was to jump in a van and circle around it. So we started in Minsk, we drove to Grodna, later on to Brest, and then into Mogilov. We met up with this homie Nikita and he is originally from Belarus but now he lives in Russia but he keeps coming back because he has family here and like a lot of friends but he found out that we were going to this really like crazy old kayaking ditch spot. He's like oh I always wanted to go here for a really long time and so we ended up getting him on the mission to meet up with us and he came through and got one of the sickest tricks at the spot man. It was something absolutely insane because I never really thought to go looking for an old kayaking course or something to look for a concrete skate spot and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search and see if I can find something like this and where I live. So on our last day in Minsk, we got invited to the USSR Skate Museum that is ran by my now good friend Glib. He has this insane, like, deep history of USSR skateboarding museum in his house, and he was nice enough to let us come and check it all out. Seriously, like, really epic to get to see this. He was a super cool dude, and he has so many things he's collected over the years about all the history here from start to what it is now. And, it's really cool to get to see the roots of something like this and where it all began. One of my first board, the name of Virash. I just found my first skateboard. 
that exactly the same color and same shape. Pretty excited to hold it in my hands right now. I think I got it around 1994, 1995. The only graphic this board has is this small sign that says this is a roller board for mass use for grown-ups. To break up the drive in between Minsk and Grodno, we decided to make a pit stop and try and find the Maldives of Belarus. If you'd like to tag along for the second part of our trip, stay tuned for episode two.